Well, hello! I'd like to welcome you to another exciting episode of Pens in Use. This is the show where I talk about the fountain pens and inks that I've been using throughout the week. So if videos like this interest you where I talk about fountain pens both new and old and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. And hey, I have a Nakaya to show you, uh, I have a Pen BBS to compare it to, and I have some Schaefer's to bring up thanks to some comments on a video review that I did this week. So let's dive into the pens. So first of all, these are not inked up, so let's get them out of the way. Uh, this week I, I reviewed this Schaefer 330, which is of the Imperial line and slip cap and in response to a few questions steel nib and empty <laughs> now uh, in the coming weeks I'm going to be reviewing this Schaefer Imperial Deluxe 2 or Deluxe Imperial 2 something like that this one has oops, slip cap also from the 70s this one has a conical also probably steel nib but what's different about it touchdown filler so I will get into that okay <laughs> this is a bugger okay so there's our two nibs so far now I have one other pen here that uh, I don't think has shown up in a video lately This is a Schaefer touchdown filler. Snorkel filler, sorry, snorkel filler. So we have still a white dot on the cap. Touchdown filler. Screw cap. Uh, the nib is another one of those conical triumph nibs. I really struggle to read what that says and I really just need to get out my I feel like it's some kind of a patent but I really need to just get out my loop and find out but I think this is probably a steel nib or palladium I've heard that uh, working on it don't know but I thought it'd just be interesting to show it and you want to see something really interesting and th this pen needs when I have time to review it. What? What? I told you it's a snorkel filler. It snorkels ink in through that. And then, of course, I'll pull this out and it's a touchdown filler. No need to get the dim dirty. So, kind of a neat pen. And I. I really just need to review it because I should stop letting the perfect be the enemy of the good. Uh, as for the rest of these pens, which are inked up this week, we have the Omas Ojiva Cocktail. With a soft medium nib. We have a Lamy All Star. One of their special editions, I think. We have the Pen BBS 380. Have a Senator that I'm going to call Senator Long Blind Cap for reasons I'll get to when I show the pen. Pen BBS 355, which I'll have something to say about that one. Wall Ever Sharp Skyline. Hey, Nakaya Decapod Twist. Phoenix, possibly. A Dutch prototype, which apparently never was marketed. Hey, whoops. Montblanc Monte Rosa. With a spectacular nib, which may be reviewed if I chose the right ink for it. You'll see what I mean when I write with it. And a Kreutzer, Kreutzer, which is a pen from Germany that I know nothing about, but was sent to me by a viewer. Uh, this will be either its second or third fill. So let's take a look at how these write. 
As always, I'll be using my BOMO art journal for the writing samples. So today, of course, is not March 8th, because I generally film these ahead of time, and I can guarantee March 7th, if I tried to film this video on March 7th, I would make, oh, no sense at all. I'd just be, bah! because March 7th, I will be taking a junior high and a high school team of Science Olympiad students to Dickinson for our regional competition. So, of course, as I film this, I don't know how it went, but uh, it depends on things. <laughs> We may be going on to state competition, we may not, but I will be a bit nuts because uh, the teenage mind in my mind, as far as getting projects done early or last minute, is very different, and uh, I know how I'm going to be <laughs> through the week, so I'm filming this puppy early. Um, so if I remember, I will, I'll just edit the video together and then put a comment down here where you can't see it, down here. Uh, what, how we placed, whether we're going on to state or not. So we'll see. Um, and yeah, if I again, if I try and film it after that, I will be all over the place. So I'm filming it well ahead of time. So this is the Omas Ojiva. And that, by the way, is why I haven't had time to devote to this channel. And some of these videos have been sort of... Ugh. So I should have a little more time for a while. Uh, this is Girban, Possier, De Lune. Which, uh, I'll be honest, I like this pen a lot. I like this ink a lot. I think this ink writes well on this pen. But I like how it looks in other slightly drier pens. Not that this is bad, but I have dark purples. I like the more dusky appearance it does in some other pens. Meet the Lamy Ulster. Oh, I never really twirled it, did I? Give it a twirl since Omas is no longer with us. Uh, apparently, is it Scribo? is run by some of the old Omas employees and they bought a lot of the old Omas equipment and are making some of these nibs and feeds. So good luck to them at the moment. I'm not ready to purchase one, but it's neat to know that they're trying. Uh, Lamy All-Star. This is very nice finish. Now I'm not an amazing nib, just a typical broad Lamy nib, steel. Not original equipment. Uh, the original nib on this, I believe, was a steel fine, and it was not a black one. But I just thought the black fit this so much better. And a broad, I just wanted a broad, and I am pleased with this broad nib. Now this ink is a drier ink. which I am totally okay with. I knew that buying it. Uh, it needs to be in the right pen. This is one of those right pens. It's one of Rohr and Klingner's Iron Gall inks. This one is uh, Salix. And I think it's kind of a nice blue. I'm going to keep this next pen up here for just a bit. Uh, this is the um, Pen BBS 380, Fasted Design. I said, when I uh, did my first impression, was it this week? I said that I think it reminds me a lot of the Micaiah Decapod. So we'll find out. So screw cap, just exactly the same. Some people have mentioned this sharp step doesn't bother me. But that's me. Oh, and the nib... The stylized M means that it's a rounded nib rather than one of the Pen BBS's bent nibs, and it's a medium. So far, the honeymoon is going very well. Thank you for asking. Um, I'm enjoying, we'll clarify, writing with it. <laughs> um, and this ink has been a very pleasant supply, surprise. And I. 
Don't know what I'm writing. Private Reserve <laughs> Plum. Kind of reminds me of Noodler Saguaro Cactus a bit. Now, some people have mentioned about the facets getting out, out of line between the cap and this. And Chris Rapp 52 had a good tip, which is to jam this on real tight and just kind of turn till the inner cap twists around a bit so that the facets better line up, which they're not there. So Now, should I have to do that with a pen? No, but apparently I have to. So I'll set this one aside. Uh, when I get to the Nakaya, we'll do some comparing. I didn't want them sitting side by side because I am doing a separate IGTV video comparing the two pens. This is a Senator. I want to do reviews of these Senators. I've wanted to for years, and my trouble is I can't find much information about them. I have no idea what the model is when it was made, but I'm feeling like I may just do the darn review anyway. I call this one Senator Long Blind Cap. So, slip cap. Uh, if you've seen my Senator Matt Gray and Black, or Matt Gray and Silver, same kind of design down here, gold nib. Why do I call it the Senator Long Blind Cap? Check this out. Metal blind cap covers most of the body of the pen. That's different. I've never seen that on another pen. Don't know what the logic is, but it's different. Probably a fine. And the ink in it is Kyo no Uto. Oto, something like that. Hisoku. Which, uh, this is probably, at first I thought was not the right pen to show it off. But I was doing some writing with this and, yeah, I don't think it's showing up on the camera the best. But when I filled a page with that, I thought that had a very nice, understated, just nice, attractive look. Kind of pleased with that ink. I like the whole line. Let's, let's just be honest. All right, so I've been writing with this puppy for a long time, Pen BBS 355, and one of the things I'm finding with this kind of filler, these bulk fillers, is wow, does it take a long time to eat up the ink in these puppies, especially since the black is my daily writer on the Lamy 2000, which isn't here. It's, if you noticed, it was in my shirt pocket. Um, I think I just need to write with this, maybe make this ride in my shirt pocket instead, because uh, I am just not getting through the ink which is a drawback to that filling mechanism. And it's another thing that's making me think, ooh, do I really want to get the, um, oh shoot, what are they called? Just drew a blank. I'll remember it later. It's may not be competition after competition, but I am tired. Because I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll just film it later in the week so I can talk about my science lippy ad results. And then common sense jumped in and said, nope, 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 nope. If you want to make sense, oops. If you want to make sense, don't do that. And there we go, I just didn't make sense. So this is a fine nib, another one of those stylized cursive pen BBS nibs. So it's a rounded one. And the ink in it, I kind of like it, it's uh, Pelican Edelstein. I've been starting to buy more browns lately. Uh, I have put a halt on it due to the extreme cold, but yeah, I think there will be some more brown inks entering my collection this summer. Uh, this is a pen I bought from Pierre Gustafson. We did a collaborative video together about this pen and five others. Um, did I put a link to that video? Yes, I did. This one... I would never put this ink into it while I was borrowing it and it was on loan for the video, but after purchasing it from him, I no longer feel guilty doing that. So this is a wall. Hopefully this does not end in tears that I used this ink. Wall Eversharp, Robert Oster. 
Oster. River of Fire. What is that? The Cincinnati River? Huh. I feel like I forgot something. Oh! The name of the pen! Skyline! Whoops! <laughs> uh, this is an ink that's supposed to have some sheen to it. Probably will not be visible on this paper, although sometimes this paper does surprise me. And of course the inks are Australian, not American, so I'm guessing it's not... Or was it the Ohio River? Whatever river it was that caught fire, I'm guessing it's not a reference to that. Nakaya Decapod Twist. Don't worry, Pen BBS will come out, but let's show this off first. If you'd like to spend less money and still have the same nib, I suggest a Platinum 3776 with a soft, fine nib. Love that ink. So to put the two pens, well, let's just move the notebook. If I don't adjust the focus, it should be fine. So if we put the two pens briefly side by side, uh, the Nakaya is slightly longer. The Nakaya has no clip, whereas this does. Um, the Nakaya's facets line up better and they stay lined up. So I've had it for almost a year now. Another neat thing about the Nakaya which is maybe not as good. It's also easy to get them offset just by getting onto the wrong thread, whereas this one... always screws together the same way. But they can get off-centered, so then you have to adjust the inner cap. For whatever that's worth. Now, if we look more closely at the sections of these two pens... Now, I don't have my scale down here. The Pen BBS is definitely heavier. But let's take a look at the sharp here. All right, I would say with the Arushi lacquer, and perhaps because of the ebonite underneath, it is slightly more rounded in the Nakaya, but not a lot more. The ledge, I don't know, maybe a little bit more ledge in the Pen BBS. The threads are higher on the Pen BBS. Uh, I'd say the section on the Nakaya is thicker, but I'm doing that by eyeball, not with a um, calipers or anything. Nibs are the same size. I'm pretty sure not interchangeable, but about the same. And they're both cartridge converter pens. So, definitely not going to question which one's the more expensive pen, which one's the higher quality pen. But maybe this will give you something to think about if you're lusting after the Nakaya. Of course, one thing my Nakaya gets... My Nakaya arrived in a pen kimono. That's where she lives when she's not in use. Because <laughs> if I damage this pen, I will cry. And I don't mean that figuratively. I think I would honestly cry. Spent enough on it. Alrighty. Uh, back to our regular program. Uh, this, I believe at the moment, is a Phoenix. I may have that wrong. Uh, I'm double checking a few more sources. But this is I'm, a review that may be upcoming. I don't know yet. Uh, the person I, I traded, actually, to get this... Ooh, it's a Knox nib. And all of a sudden, I'm remembering something like that on a Dutch Cora. 
Cora may have to come down and play while this is inked up. Another day, not today. Uh, I don't really want to film. I've got two videos filmed and that's all, or planned to film, and that's all I'm filming today because i got enough else to do this week. But this weekend, not thinking about school at all. But there will be lots of snow, so it's not like I'm going to go out and have any fun either. I'll be here shoveling snow. Yay! Sorry, my enthusiasm is flagging. I keep trying to call it slow-release moisture for my garden, but uh, my sunny optimism is starting to fail when uh, I actually had somebody feel sorry for me and come in with a tractor to help clear out my driveway because with the latest drifting... It was so deep that parts of it were up over my hips. All right, so, um, <laughs> sorry. Ah, North Dakota problems. All right, this is a, hey, hey, at least I haven't had any more minus 27 or whatever it was nights, or minus 15 days. Ah, okay, this is a Montbon Monte Rosa, which I'm considering. I wanted to see how this turned out first. Oh, it did. Because I wanted to show the diamond-shaped ink windows when I did the review. And if they showed up, I was going to film it with this ink in it. Montbon. Monterosa. I don't know why I change accents all of a sudden in the middle of the name, but there you go. Um, it was sold as an extra fine, but I have a hard time believing that. Uh, this pen, the ink in it is Stipula Saffron. There is no spelling of the ink on the bottle, so I had to rely on a website. But anyway, I think it's a beautiful ink. I love yellows, this, but yellows don't show up when you write with them and or when you use them on these videos. So uh, I never use them. This one is just orange and dark enough to be usable, but it doesn't cooperate with a lot of pens, including my one and only Stipula pen, which, depending on how things turn out with that, may remain my ever only Stipula. And finally, a nice Kreutzer. Fairly plain, nondescript pen. I know nothing about it, including nib size. Looks like a medium or a fine, though, don't you think? We'll put that. Uh, the ink in it is one I haven't used very often. This one, in some pens, turns into sludge. But in other pens, it ends up, including this one, as it turns out, ends up showing a very nice reddish sheen. It's the only one of their inks I've ever purchased other than a bunch of samples once to try them out. Uh, I didn't care for the samples enough. I was going to do a video where I reviewed them all, but I didn't care enough for the samples to bother with that. But I do like this one. But I can already see it's not going to sheen on this paper. Tomoe River paper it has a very nice reddish sheen. So uh, I've wondered, is there a trim ring missing? But I don't know doesn't screw on any tighter than that but it caps just fine so I don't know I don't know much about this pen I thank the person who sent it to me um, it gives me a little mystery to solve uh, when I have more time and the science limpiette isn't eating up most of my free time I have to schedule free time for myself because otherwise school and work would consume me at this time of year and uh, I've learned you know, it sounds counterintuitive, but sometimes you just have to do that, where you force yourself to have free time. Well, I tried to get all the writing sam Move it over. Then you can see it beside me. I tried to get all the writing sample to show up on the screen, but the uh, camera is just a little too close, so I must have written an extra long writing sample this week. But those are the pens that I inks that I'm using this week. Um, a uh, little bit of a variety, some of it based on comments I've had in my videos. Yes, I do read them. Uh, 
And, and then some of it just based on personal interest. Uh, the Pen BBS thing, like I said, I do have an Instagram channel. I'm Waski Squirrel there also. Uh, mostly I've been doing fountain pens lately. I've been sharing some snow stuff. I will also mention I have been doing high res photos of my writing samples. Now, for a while, I was putting it on the community tab of my channel. Um, I've also been putting a link in the video description to a photograph of the high res channel. It, in much better resolution than you can get on the community channel or community page of the channel. Wow. Words. English. Um, whatever I mean, <laughs> it, the, the link just takes you straight to the photo and, it, and you can get it very large. Uh, as large as it can get. Because I, I did purchase a cell phone, um, what, two or three weeks ago. I've been taking the photos with that. This summer I may experiment trying to do a better job, but... I want something relatively quick for during these times of year when I'm busy that I don't overwhelm myself because I do have a lot of interests besides doing fountain pen reviews and having a job. So I need time to work on those too. And hopefully I will have them after this Thursday. Although if we go to state, we'll have the busy time again. But it's not as much of a rush because, well, we're a small school competing against the Bismarcks and the Fargos and all those kind of schools. So... <laughs> But anyway, uh, on a happier note, um, yes, we'll be going to Bismarck or to Dickinson this week on Thursday and competing. I will try to remember. I'll edit the video together probably uh, one of these nights when I get home and I'm not ready to sleep yet. And uh, I'll just not compile it and upload it till I know how we did, which I think I, even with my addled mind on a Thursday night, I can probably get that done. So, uh, if videos like this interest you, where I talk about fountain pens, both new and old, and at all price points, I would invite you to subscribe. And hey, uh, do you want to comment on the Schaefers? Perhaps you can fill in a few blanks about them. Or, perhaps, um, what do you think of the difference between the Pen BBS and the uh, Nakaya? Let me know. So, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.